One of my favorite thrift stores has a 50% off sale each week in certain categories, and on this trip, it was lamps. I found two, and boy, did I get a deal on both of them. And you get a free lampshade with any lamp purchase. This was an awesome, awesome deal on this lamp. Come along and see how easy it was to give a fresh face to this awesome lamp. I'm so excited about this find. that it came with the shade and I was able to find um, this shade, this is cork. It's gonna work perfect with this lamp. I have to get a halo thing. I think I have one. First, I need to clean this up. I paid $1.50 for this lamp. This is broken, but no, it's not. Look, all right, leave it just like that. I want to paint this black and I'm going to paint this white. So I have some Krylon matte black that I'm going to paint the base with. I'm going to paint the lamp itself with some white chalk paint. I'll cover up this gold. It's kind of a pukey brown gold. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to mix up some new chalk paint. Oopsie. I'm gonna eyeball it. I eyeball it. That needs to be mixed. Need some. I'm gonna stir the paint with the old paint stick. This is white. Um, this one is a latex semi gloss. Now, typically, you mix chalk paint with a, a flat or a matte, but I hoard paint, and I, you can, pretty much you can make chalk paint with any kind of paint. I'm just going to pour. I'm going to eyeball it, okay? It's four parts paint to one part um, plaster of Paris. If you've been watching my videos long enough, you know I eyeball it kind of go by feel and that was really gloppy there uh, that's all right I go I go by feel and what the plaster Paris does this is the chalk part of it and it gives it strength and so it it's incredibly versatile. It will pretty much stick to anything. And it's gonna be perfect for this, this um, lamp. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water. The amount of water is gonna depend on what you're painting. So you want it it, it's just really, really runny. Almost like whipped cream. You know when you make whipped cream from scratch with heavy whipping cream and you whip it? Uh, that's what you want. All right, so I probably should cover my table, but what's the use, right? I mean, what the heck? All right, so I'm gonna go in with my chip brush. And get painting. I don't really much care if I get it. Look at that coverage. I don't really care if I get it on this metal base because I'm going to be painting it anyway. That looks really good. Let's go all the way around. let this dry and then come back and put a second coat. So I'm going to put my lid on here. All right, this is dry. Let's put another coat on here. I probably could have gotten away with just one coat on this lamp, but I'm glad I added the second layer just to make sure I got every little nook and cranny because this was kind of a very textured lamp, but I love the chalk paint finish. It's just, I don't know, I just love it. And now I'm gonna let this second layer dry. 
All right, this is perfect. So now I'm going, now I'm gonna tape off. I'm gonna be spray painting that base and I'm not real handy with the spray paint can. So that's why I'm taping off the, the lamp so that I don't get any paint on it. I'm gonna take it outside and give it a spray. Once the paint was dry, I just peeled off all the tape and then trying to figure out how to attach this lampshade, I thought that maybe I'd be able to use a harp attachment, but it made the lampshade sit up a little bit too high. That looks really good. <laughs> Look at this lamp. What? My lamp. I like it. I don't know what I'm gonna, where I'm going to put it, but I like it. I've decided to keep this lamp and use it in my guest room. It's gonna work out perfect. And as far as the lampshade, I'll figure out how to attach it a little bit later. Um, but right now, the the lampshade is just sitting on top of the bulb. It's with that little halo attachment. It'll be fine. Thanks for watching. Bye friends.